The sea doesn't care what your economic status is, your religion, your nationality, your sex. It doesn't care what you think. It cares one thing. I am the sea. Bill Pinckney chronicled his historic solo sail around the world, the first African-American to do it the hard way around the Great Southern Capes in his 1992 video diary and documentary. It's been very, very rough. For seven days, I've had nothing but bad weather. Uh, the boat's been knocked on its side a couple of times. Raised on Chicago's south side in a fatherless home, often on public assistance, and only attending inner city public schools, Bill Pinckney's sailing accomplishments are all the more extraordinary. The fact that I was black meant that statistically, before I was 21, I would be either killed from a crime of violence, on drugs, or incarcerated. Now, I never believed the statistics. Now 85, he's retired in Puerto Rico, where he first learned how to sail small cargo skiffs while stationed here with the Navy in the 50s. I was a terrible student, but I read this book entitled Called It Courage, about a young man who was an outcast uh, with people in his island in Polynesia. I held that as my, my dream for a great adventure in my life. After a successful career as a cosmetics executive, Bill Pinckney decided to sail around the world in 1990, while in his mid-50s, as a legacy for his grandchildren, and to teach inner-city students back at his former elementary school how far they could go with a basic education and by making a commitment, like he named his boat, donated by other sailors and businessmen. Well before the internet and Instagram, he sent back video dispatches from his circumnavigation and social studies reports from his several stopovers during his two years sailing adventure. This is the original form of break dancing. Okay, in these lines the lesson plans he created with Chicago educators eventually connected his voyage with nearly 30,000 students throughout the country. I had one day when I made almost 140 miles in a day. My average speed for that day is a number that you might want to figure out. The thing I tried to show in my trip was that the things you use and learn every day, the things you learn in the first 12 years of school, come into play every single day. Roger that. Give me two to port. Bill Pinckney added to his sailing legacy as the first captain of the Amistad schooner replica for teaching the sailing history of the slave trade and taking teachers to Africa for a middle passage crossing from Senegal to the Americas, starting from the door of no return, the slaves pass through. Well, that was my whole idea, is, is to give that juxtaposition, to get a, a real, a, a visceral appreciation of that distance, of that time, of that removal that quantum leap from Africa to America, ancestrally as a cargo, contemporarily as the master. Nearly three decades since his historic solo circumnavigation and nearly 10 years on the National Sailing Hall of Fame nomination list, Bill Pinckney is finally joining sailing's elite. Not so much for his sailing adventures, but for his lifetime contributions to the sport. Sailing gets a bad rap for being an, an elitist sport because it's always portrayed as yachting. Because it, sailing is predominantly white and there aren't many black people doing it, it's, an easy, it's easy to hang your hat on something like that. Sailing, on the other hand, is people on boats anywhere from a little Optimus dinghy up to a 147, 170, 190 foot boat that sails. I don't believe that my entry into the Hall of Fame had anything to do with the times that we live in of Black Lives Matter. I think it had to do more with my ability, what my story is, what my history, what my achievements have been. Look, you have the bulls, the bears, and now we got the bill. Charter boat captain John Travis first learned of Bill Pinckney while sailing out of Chicago yacht clubs on Lake Michigan where Bill first started his solo sailing adventures. 
what he went through, um, who he represented, Chicago, the South Side, is, is a big deal. These days, Bill Pinkney is playing more dominoes at the local American Legion post here in Fajardo than sailing and hanging out at yacht clubs. He is a member of the prestigious New York Yacht Club in Newport, Rhode Island. Hurricane Maria beached his most recent boat, causing extensive damages, and the COVID shutdown crushed his charter boat business. But not Bill Pinckney's faith in sailing as his metaphor for life. I kept my focus on what my goal was. I knew that I had to complete what I was started because there were kids out there watching and adults also who were depending on me to make my dream a reality so their dream would seem more like a reality to them. For the PBS NewsHour, Mike Saray reporting from Fajardo, Puerto Rico.